Hello and welcome to a CSCART video tutorial. My name is Sergey, and in this video I'm going to show you how to move your store from one server to another. Let's begin. First, you need to create a backup of your database. Go to Administration, Backup, click the Fast button, choose Backup Database Data. We don't need files. For now, we will back them up from the control panel of our hosting. Backup options, backup database schema, backup database data, correct. You can change the name of the backup file and click create to create the backup. Done. The backup was created. Now we need to download it to our computer. Download. The data was downloaded and now we should proceed to our control panel. This is the control panel of our old hosting. So we proceed to File Manager, find the files of the store, you can just click select all or just use a frame. After that click the compress button and create the zip archive, compress files. Good. The archive was created and now we need to download it on our computer. Ok, the archive has downloaded and now we can proceed to our new hosting. Let's go! This is our new control panel, as you can see the domain is different. So, we proceed to the file manager and upload our archive. Overwrite existing files, there's no need for that. Ok, this one. The archive was uploaded and now we can go back to our file manager. There it is. Let's extract it right here. After that we can delete the archive. Now we need to create a new database. So we go to MySQL database wizard. Let's call it this way. New user. Password. Create user. All privileges. And we're good. After that, we need to edit the file named config dot local dot php right click edit yeah utf edit here we go here we need to edit a few lines database connection options config db host local host that's okay database name we need to change that. Now it's called db1 and I guess the prefix is different. Let me check it. Yes, the prefix is this. So I'm going to copy that. Okay. Ok, username, the password, good, database type correct, what else? Now we need to change HTTP and HTTPS lines, so uh, this domain will be no longer available, so we will change it 
within U1. Let's find it here. It is usually available at the right side bar. I'm going to copy that and enter it. HTTP path. If you have your CS card installed in the root directory of the file manager or of, of hosting, simply speaking, there is no need to change that. If you installed your CS card into the subfolder, you will have to enter the name of the subfolder here. For example, like this. Okay? Now, HTTPS. Usually it is the same as uh, the domain of your store. And I guess that's it. Don't touch anything else here, okay? Save changes. Good. Close this page and delete the cache. Hmm, good. There is no cache for now, so there is no need to delete it. But if you have a cache folder, just go inside it and delete it. Oh, delete the cache folder completely. Now we need to restore the database on our new server. Let's move to the phpMyAdmin. Here is our newly created database. We just need to add data here. Click the database. Click the import button. Choose file. For now it's going to be our archive this backup open it check the settings if you need and click go done our old database has been uploaded that's exactly what we need close php my admin and now we can proceed to our store from this new hosting just click the domain and go to good we are in now the only thing left is the name of your new store administration stores here you need to change the old url of your store for the new one and save changes that's it now your store is live and ready to sell well, that's it. If you have any questions about store transferring, you can ask them in the comment section below, on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching.